Well, summer officially begins tomorrow, but for some students, school is still in session. Haiti Clatter shows us how Great River Rescue is educating young animal lovers. Learning doesn't just take place inside of the classroom. These young students are expanding their worldview on different animals at the Great River Rescue Happy Tales Camp in Bemidji. The proper animal handling, um, and not just with dogs and cats, but we even talk, we learn about you know animal welfare issues with wildlife or small animals like reptiles. In its second year, the two-week camp is open to third through fifth graders, and education is key. Here, students work together focusing on endangered species. We try to have a, a diverse program where there are a lot of different ways to learn. You know, some kids learn better when they're active. Some kids, you know, learn better through touch or through listening. And so we try to have a variety of activities. A career as a zookeeper is something Ella Walker thinks about. She says it's important for people to be aware of animals so they can receive the proper care. People don't inspire them as other humans, but it's good to take care of these guys because they are as valuable as us. Each day features a specific theme, such as equine and dogs. Today's theme was wildlife animals. Nature's Connection presented different raptors where you can find plenty in Bemidji. Students were up close and personal with Striker the Falcon and Whoopi the Owl. We're kind of just here to inform the public about why they are important in um, in their natural habitat, why they're important to us and why we would like to keep them. Students also had a chance to bond with their furry friends. It's been really fun. I like interacting with all the animals and the kittens. The camp is part of Great River Rescue's educational outreach commitment and they hope to expand in the future. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. 22 students participated in this year's camp. It ends on Friday. They'll learn about cats and reptiles next. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.